Welcome to the unofficial Logos Bible Software tutorial videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Logos for the very first time. You can install Logos either from a download or via DVD. The method is much the same. I'm going to show you how to install via a download. You'll be given a link to Logos for setup. Uh, download that file and then run it. That file will then download some further files, uh, the Logos Bible software for installer. Uh, rather than have you wait whilst I'm downloading, I'm going to speed up the video and come back when it's finished the download. Once the download has completed, uh, Logos will then start to install. Just click Next, agree to the license agreement, and you can just click Typical unless you particularly need to install Logos in a different folder from the one recommended. Installation only takes a, a minute or so, but uh, be aware that this is only just a very uh, small initial step in the whole process of getting Logos installed. What we're doing here is installing Logos Bible software itself. At the moment, we haven't installed any resources, and it's installing all the resources, the books and the other files that you need, that actually takes the time. We can click Finish now, and Logos will load for the first time, and it will now ask me to log in. You can see there that a Logos.com account is required to run Logos Bible software for. That's because all your resource purchases are tied to a particular email address in a Logos account. So by logging in here, my software will know which resources I've purchased. So you need to make sure that you sign in here with the same email address that you've used to make your purchases. If for some reason you've got uh, multiple email addresses, you can ask Logos to merge them together. The signing in process will now check with the Logos servers to find out uh, if I'm an authorized user, and then it'll start to download the list of resources that I own. Depending on how many resources you have, this can take a few minutes. Once Logos has the list of the resources that you own, it will then start to download them. Obviously, the bigger library that you have, the longer it takes to download. But with almost every library, this process will probably take several hours. So Logos recommend that you simply uh, leave your computer to download whilst you go and do something else. It's probably best, therefore, to start the installation before you go to bed and you can leave your computer on overnight. Uh, remember, if you've got a laptop computer, or perhaps even a desktop computer, it may switch itself off uh, if you leave it too long. So to check that's not going to happen, go to the Start menu and into Control Panel. Uh, now I'm using Windows 7 here, and if you're using an earlier version of Windows, uh, it may be different. But uh, you need to try and find the Power part of the Control Panel. And you can do that in Vista and in Windows 7 just by typing in Power in the little search up here. And we can then change the power saving settings or change when the computer sleeps. And you can see, put the computer to sleep here. We need to make sure that that is set to never. Once that's done, you can safely leave Logos to download the resources and do the indexing whilst you sleep. Once Logos has downloaded all your books, it will then prepare your library. Again, this can take some time, uh, probably somewhere between 10 and 30 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Once Logos has finished preparing your library, it will load up to the home page. And there's a temptation to think, finally, the installation has finished. Unfortunately, that's not quite the case, because if you uh, look up here, you'll see that uh, Logos tells you that first time indexing is underway. And if you hover over the question mark, it explains what that means, that it's building an initial index of your library. That needs to be done so that the guides, passage guide, exegetical guide, and the Bible word study work, and so that you can search. 
Now indexing only happens when you add resources to your Logos library. So the first time you run Logos, the indexing will take several hours. If in the future you add a few more books to your library, then the indexing then will only take a few minutes to add those additional resources. Now indexing slows down not just Logos, but actually the whole of your computer, which is another reason why it's a good idea to install Logos overnight, so that uh, the indexing can also happen whilst you're asleep. Uh, it's pretty difficult to use your computer whilst indexing is underway. So if you're not asleep and you come back to Logos and you find that this uh, first time indexing message is there, or if you uh, click search and uh, find a similar message uh, there, don't be tempted to start using Logos before the indexing is finished. You'll only find that some of the features don't work and that your computer is very slow and you'll probably get frustrated. It's better to wait until the indexing finish and then get started. So here in this first tutorial video, we've looked at how to install Logos, ensure all the resources are downloaded and wait for the first time indexing to be complete. Once that's done, you'll be able to enjoy Logos and the rest of the videos will show you how.